the fact that you have like newer followers and more engagement just shows how relevant you are at the moment. But give it three years. What's it? What's it? How you You'll doing? Be in the pits, buddy. <laughs> Now, guys, we are back once again on Waffling, Kings of Consistency. Um, yes, we obviously, are. Obviously, this episode, though, it's a big one. It's the greatest one I think we're <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever going to have done. And it's because so much planning has gone into it. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, like, because that's misleading. Mate, are we, we actually taking the piss? But we have, <laughs> no, 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 Hey, you're, you're lying. <laughs> That's not what I meant. What I meant you're is lying. We Joe. have tried to plan a show. Mate, oh, okay. I got here and you done fuck all sitting. No, on the sofa. bullshit, bullshit. It's it's getting it's getting to that point where you know why we were inconsistent previously. <laughs> exactly. But look, end of the day, the game's a game. And should I tell you something that I've done this week in preparation for this very moment? Okay. Now, <laughs> Diet. I like a TV show called. Say yes to the dress. Do you know what it is? Uh, the, no? the one when they have to get a wedding dress or something. Correct, yeah. yeah. And they try to... Tell me, what, what show? <laughs> 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 I watch it all the time. No, I don't. You do as well. Yeah, never seen it. <laughs> quality. Anyone watching, let us know. Do you watch Say Yes to the Dress? And while you're at it, can you leave a like rating? Because <laughs> basically last week we got demonetized. So any interaction like that from you guys can help... Uh, the podcast to actually get recommended to people yeah, because YouTube are, 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 yeah, are killing us. So yeah. um, what I decided to do, you know Jen? Yeah. Yeah, right. So we have a friend called Jen who owns a bridal shop. Okay. And I thought it'd be a good idea to go in and um, no. like do a real life say yes to the dress where I, I, I try them on. <laughs> yeah. And um, what, are you, you going to make, is this going to be a video? Luke is about to show us photos. Well, I, I got a couple. No, wait, you've actually done it. Well, you know, I just thought it was a quite good idea. <laughs> I just did it for the podcast. But it was obviously just <laughs> for the podcast. <laughs> 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 Give it. You have tits. Why have you done that? But you're, you're a solid C cup there. Well, it's just I thought it was a good idea <laughs> because I've always wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to do it when I was younger. <laughs> No, it's quite fun. Like, I used to wear a Barbie nighty to bed. I can't even. Explains a lot. I can't, I can't lie, you know. I'm pretty sure there's pictures lurking around in my uh, loft somewhere of me as a child in a like a wedding dress. Well, it's like fun. playing dress up. It's quite liberating, bro. Wait, <laughs> you've free. done it. Get it up. Get the photos oh, up. <laughs> Get the photos up now. Yes. No, the prom dress. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying is, like, any geezers that record, they're very like. Heterosexual, very like butch, like us. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever like put on a dress and thought, oi, this is a bit quality? How many did you try on? I just like a couple. It's gone then. Mate, people were looking through the windows, there were blokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of it. But at the same time, like, you know, I'm free to do what I want to do. So and what I'm saying is that like Harry Styles came out and said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he pre presented himself in a dress. Today, I'm going to put that on Instagram. What do you think the response is going to be? No, Are no, people no. going to be like, what a massive homophobic, homophobic, blah, blah, blah. No. Or you could be like, what a, what a great man. They'll be a legend. Be like, this is, oh my God, this is so funny. I'm so proud of you for but, showing who you really but are. But this is the thing. We only wear the sort of clothes that we wear because they're socially acceptable. Do you know what I mean? Like the reason we don't go out wearing skirts is because from a very young age, we're told boys, you wear trousers, girls, you wear skirts. Do you know what I mean? So, so like, what would you do if you had it your way, Theo? Oh, I dress every day. No, you actually <laughs> no. would. No, bruv, bruv, I'm being deadly serious. No, <laughs> I'm being deadly serious here. If I had it my way, I would live in tracksuits. I can't stand a pair of jeans. <laughs> can't stand, like, when do you ever see me in jeans? Well, no. You never, and a night out, and that's a special. Wait, so have you, <laughs> it's going to get weird. Have you ever tried on, like, girls' underwear? No, I've never done that. Okay, good. No, well, I, haven't. Have. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I, haven't. I, haven't. Like, I, like just, I like thought he was going to say, yeah. Mate, you've just done a Zanty there. What do you mean? Oh, what? <laughs> what? No, you can't say his name. Oh, yeah. Bleep that. Bleep <laughs> that. Yeah, bleep that. <laughs> but, um... Wait, 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 that like take the whole thing out, bleep like <laughs> yeah, beyond yeah, the yeah. name. Right, he gets it. <laughs> but basically, you guys, right? We get some fruity questions in, <laughs> but on our first Zanti Lads holiday, 
We had a friend, a buddy, that obviously, as we were all sitting down playing a game of like, never have I ever, that's what it was. <laughs> it was, yeah. And he just went, never have I ever fingered my ass while I was wanking. And he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, what? He's like, well, obviously, you all have, haven't you? And obviously we were like, ha, ha, no. But mate, apparently this is quite the done thing for some people. <laughs> yeah, we were 18 at the yeah, time, so he did get ribbed. Well, at the time we all just looked at each other like, <laughs> I remember he, took, he took a sip of his drink and he's like, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> but now because we're all older. You've done it multiple no, times. No, never. I've you have then. You have, I haven't. Have no, I has. don't know where this thing no, comes you from. Are, no, you like a tongue up your bum. No, no, I don't. But no, you have had all it, I'm though. saying is I, obviously, like, I have had a girl do, but it's not you for me. The... Not do me up the... But no, you know what I mean. Like it's very, it is very socially acceptable now for blokes to get things put out of their ass. Not that I haven't done it. <laughs> Who not, said you done it, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like a bedroom thing. But like, uh, I'm terrified of it. It actually haunts me. Obviously, boys like going in, like you know, an, <laughs> anal with a boy and a girl is like a quite a so damn thing. Yeah, <laughs> even so like, probably from caveman times, like probably is. So surely, do girls must <laughs> girls must get something out of doing it as well. Oh, you're shagging but, Theo up the arse. Yeah, because a lot of a it, lot of girls actually do want to like, you know, bend over you. their bloke. Bend over their bloke. Well, mate, I've got a friend <laughs> that literally, <laughs> <laughs> bro, that literally. No, I've got this buddy that I know. He's from Birmingham. Listen, basically, he will stand in docky. He he's in. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's like in doggy, bent over, but like fully bent over. And we have a girl like licking his bum out. And I just, I'm just like, I don't feel like I could do that. But I was then, I thought maybe you could. I know what, this is the complete misconception well, about the state me. of his arse no, crap. Stop, this is vulgar. People um, are listening to this with their mum. A lot of blokes <laughs> like it. I personally just, can you please stay away from the arse. It's just not penetrating for me. <laughs> it's not. Well, I Wait. mean, say this. What? Actually, this is because this is nice. we we Banging. we got a. Well, I'm not sure. If we'll keep it it no, I know I did this last week, but we got a comment last week. Uh, obviously, you know the one it was talking about Theo's running over the dog. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah but that just... that started off with like actually quite a, a serious negative comment. Oh wait, should I get that up? Because yeah, I hey, think we've got it in our in our chat. Can I, ju can I just state? Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we will go on to the dog part of the comment, but this, this, there was two sections to this comment, and Sorry. one maybe relates to what we have just been bantering. Okay, about. so this, so the comment on last week's episode was another homophobic episode. Lost respect for you, Theo. <laughs> Me. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Pedestrians always have the right of way, dickhead. <laughs> So much disrespect for that dog you probably killed. <laughs> Unsubscribed, boys. <clears throat> what a fucking load of nonsense. All right, so should we start? Should First we... of all, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a fucking right away at a junction, you moron. It's literally, it was a junction. No, she literally it wasn't walked out across in front it. Of you. It was just on a fucking freeway. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I've got to go for a stroll on the freeway. <laughs> Duh, brain. The freeway. <laughs> <laughs> Number the freeway. two, the dog didn't die. It survived. I saw it in my own eyes. Maybe later in the vets it was a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the dog was fine. I offered to take it to the vet and whatnot. What's the other thing that's a... Homophobic. Another homophobic episode. Apparently us, the self-proclaimed fruity dons, is that homophobic? Why is that homophobic, mate? No. The only, no, the only thing wrong about this is that we say nothing homophobic. We are very comfortable in ourselves. The only thing bad about this is the fact that this person has said that it's homophobic. Mm. Yeah, like, why, why, why can't you can... we be colourful, bright, happy and, you know, free? No, this no. thing does my head in. The, it's like when you say... oh. Uh, I don't know another example when you're saying something and you've said nothing wrong and then the one person that says oh that's sexist that's racist that's homophobic like, no the only thing sexist racist homophobic is the fact that you think that is sexist well, yeah. racist, homophobic. it's like when Beckham kissed his daughter in nothing public and they, wrong with they went oh that's nonsense why are you thinking that that's not as a, as a father his and his child yeah. like, do you know what I mean I think that, uh, often it's, it's actually what's going on in these individuals brains that can sometimes dictate what's actually going on that's wrong yeah. well Boys, Fuck me. I, because that, that comment, when when I, that I, when I saw it, like it, it got me thinking. I was like, well, you know, I don't want us to be seen in any way, shape, form, have, like phobic of anything. So I was like, how has this guy maybe come to that? So it got me thinking. And I reckon it's because, you know, we, we're always ironically like, no one said like 
No you one know, said you wanted something you know, shoved up your ass. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you're, no one, no and you were like, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And you like, you almost play on the fact that it is like, it was or was typically like something that people would banter about. But like, we play on the fact that it is bantered about. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, 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 it's irony. You. At the end of the day, we, we never want to say anything that will offend anyone. But also at the end of the day, we're still just having banter between the lads. Yeah. And it, it, you, if you can't banter your own lads, whether it be on camera, off camera, why do you have friends? Yeah, at the end of the day, you're, 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 would you rather live at peace with the world or at peace with yourself? Yeah. Well, that's hashtag. No, but tell me a little bit. It's like we, if we sit here and try and praise everyone, we'll be going, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. It is very sorry, sorry for everything we say. <laughs> End of the day, no snowflakey behaviour, but at the same time, we try and be respectful, but have banter. We actually, Anyways. Now, guys, it's your boy Weller <laughs> with a sponsorship message from our friends at Free Trade. Now, these guys have mastered the art of investing, making a free app that is so easy to use. And we have a young candidate who has used this. His name's Luke. He's there. How does it work, mate? Mate, how often do I actually try and get you to invest? All the time. I'm always talking to you and Theo about investing. Now, if you are a beginner, an app like Free Trade, which is so clean, so easy, and, and like, it's just an app that is nice to use you That's put your money you in there and you can get returns solid gains you know be careful do your research your money is pointless sitting in the bank it's safe in the bank we want to make money make your money do the work and that's what you can get with this plus we have a little offer for you so if you go to freetrade.io slash waffling and you register and fund your account you will get a randomly allocated free share worth between three and two hundred pounds this is huge. You can do whatever you want with this share. So do it. Yeah, like you can get this share. You might get a share worth 200 pounds. And you, if you want, you can flog it. And then you've just made yourself 200 quid on the boys. On the boys. So there it is. It's freetrade.io slash waffling. Get involved. Link in the description. Enjoy yourself. On with the show. Something big that's happened this week, right, that really rolled me up. I know you've seen the change in lighting, the change of angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still his outside, fucking though. camera isn't even on. <laughs> you got cancer. <laughs> no, 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 his camera's broken. But anyways, basically, we got this comment, right? So back in the day, well, just reading something out, by the way. It's not, it's not um, don't take this literally. Are you talking to Girlfriend. <laughs> so this was a, something we got 21st of March. Yo, Joe, I don't know if you're active or not, but let's have Snapchat sex. I'll sl- sign a no disclosure form and that nothing will be nor can be said. Let's have FaceTime sex. And I didn't sign it. Right? So then, and then, one of you boys, I, don't know, I think it was you, uh, found a message that this same individual has said yesterday, which is, why does Theo look fit as fuck? I want to fuck him so hard. Swear down. He should leave me for his girl. No, leave his uh, girl yeah, for me. She, she got it wrong. He won't regret it. This person has actively made a U-turn and gone, not on this side of the table. She's gone over there. Precisely why I don't want to go anywhere near her. Exactly. What? But how does this feel now? Because you're getting a lot of this sort of attention, buddy. Look. Buddy. <laughs> <Come> on, man. <laughs> Look. End of the day, it <laughs> <laughs> end of the day, the game is indeed the game. And with my hair growing, you know, I'm doing triathlons now. <laughs> maybe the maybe the ratings will start going up, but I have to respectfully decline all these. Do you find that flattering though? No, not from no. Offense. What? So if you were well, no, because you did a complete 180 U turn on Joe. Yeah, yeah, that is true. And she's yeah, asking that's... me, she's asking me to leave my girlfriend for her. Exactly. Have some respect. Yeah, but so it is so she can fuck you really hard. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> cool story. Bro. But you do, you do. I think that's the thing. Like, um, as as a popular figure, and now you have become a bit of a sex symbol. <laughs> that, no, 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 no. You have. I wonder if your girlfriend does get any sense of like, oh, I don't know who might be sliding in his DMs now. And as you watching right now, that may or may not be in relationships, this that and the other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, basically, <laughs> never go. <laughs> well, he went for basically, <laughs> <laughs> basically, mate. Have you ever uh, sat back and had some jibbing? You've been ribbed by your other half for. Oh, I feel like you're getting so much attention when we're walking in the street, when we're dancing in the club. <laughs> what you think? All these normal people what? have had that? No, I've just gone. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Four he's done. <laughs> talking about yourself. No. No, no, I'm not. Well, you're talking to viewers. No, 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 no. Just no. aren't YouTube <laughs> famous. No, yeah. no, no. Have you ever had these? <laughs> like, no one has ever had it. No, 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 no. no what I'm saying, in the what I'm saying, right? You both, as I do, have attractive girlfriends. Ten out of ten. Mm. We love them. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, they obviously get a lot of attention when you're out and about. Have you ever been like, oh, I, I wonder if you're getting all this attention? Or like, likewise, all of your girlfriends and my girlfriend have really, really fit boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> well fit. And they may get um, scared or, or concerned. That, oh, what if they're getting lots of attention? Who's sliding in their DMs? Uh, basically, is, does it, is this a prevalent issue in normal society is what I'm saying? Not just, oh, if you're famous. <laughs> Janine has had a few DMs, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But they're always just, <laughs> <laughs> they're always just weird. Like, you never get any, like, actual serious DMs. They're always just, like, weirdos. I'm pretty like. sure Ruth has had a few where it's been, like, <gasps> leave Luke. He's, <laughs> he's clapped or, like, something like <laughs> that. But that's, like, that is part and parcel of it. It's, like, we were having a conversation earlier downstairs yeah. about uh, sh sort of sh sh publicising your girlfriend to X amount of followers yeah. and sort of the things that it leads to with the DMs. And that is that's one thing that you have to take with it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, well, best. yeah, I mean, that, that is inevitable, yeah. Like, and you can't... I mean, JJ, does he still have a girlfriend? Yep. He's done, he's no, never, no one knows who it is. Yeah, so. no one knows. But that, isn't that does interesting? He, that he's, he's actively... <laughs> oh, it's no one meant to know. No, but it's public knowledge. If oh, he, is it? If, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Sorry, <laughs> sorry I, don't, I didn't know if it is. <laughs> ah, fucked it! I'll be skiing! No, but yeah, <laughs> you just ruined it. Oh, shit! Nah. JJ what? doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> no, what? He's single. But, but if like, he did have a girlfriend, no, I think it's been, I think he addressed it on a video reel. Wait, was he just like, "Well, his ex got loads of"? Oh yeah, no, yeah. Well, well you've had that in the past. Mm, yeah, your exes have literally like built careers. You got to say fair play. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Well, one, of them, well, one of them's doing better than you. <laughs> Very much. Well, better. Yeah, we're fun, but. but yeah, but no, you don't get anywhere that hard work. To be fair to them, exactly. <laughs> well, because you could say the same for you. And, and, well, me, but I'm still not really getting anything. You're but, getting too much attention. But, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is. You need to private your story so that you go and, <laughs> and stop posting on Instagram as well. Almost at 50k. Why don't we do this, right? We all post a photo wearing a dress. <laughs> and whoever gets the most likes out of you two boys can get mentioned in the same breath as me. <laughs> we, had, we had this competition no, last week, it, actually. I'll fucking beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, but in, ter in terms of... <laughs> ratio? Yeah, in terms of ratio... Percentage? You've got yeah. double the likes, but you've got ten get times the followers. ratioed, buddy. <laughs> Look, Luke, this is what you're missing out on. The fact that you have, like, newer followers and more engagement just shows how relevant you are at the moment. But give it three years. We'll see how you do. You'll be in the pits, buddy. And every time you post on Instagram, you can stress for the next 20 minutes and watch your likes peter off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, do, you think, do you think it's to do with also how you engage? Like, because uh, I feel like on Instagram, like, I quite often, like, I, always, nice. I always reply to DMs yeah. and everything. People that DM will change. <laughs> <laughs> when those DMs really yeah. are just like, you are one <laughs> big ginger. Very really? ginger. You're going to have to bleep it, Tom. Bleep that, please, Tom. <laughs> what you're and blur my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, have, you'll have to just... You get to a point where you just look at your DMs and they're just words on a page. But did that... Do you do you remember a, definif, a definitive moment when that came? <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, was yours around the fight? <laughs> oh, you know, Why you got to bring up no, the fight no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> but, 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 boys, I've had hate my whole career. But that's because... My whole thing has always been very confident, cocky, cocky, cocky. <laughs> very that is, isn't it? Like Jake Paul. Come! <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> don't ever do that. Buxton Water! Phenomenal <laughs> question! But in fairness, it wasn't just like people at college thought you were as well. What needs? <laughs> no, they didn't. What? Uh, what? I, I, you never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what cocky wank? Yeah. Like, as in, that was like quite a general consensus <laughs> of Joe Weller. Everyone that... talked about you by Joe <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just thought I was a twat. Well, I knew that through and through. I've known that for my whole career. <laughs> but in school as well, is what I'm saying. Like, from primary school, I've, I'm not used to being liked. I'm used to being hated on playing football. <laughs> the other team wanted me dead. <laughs> I the wonder fans. why they do that. Yeah, like, as in, I'm you used to... You I'm the UK Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah, but do you He's think... He's the American me, right? Do you think that's because, like, 
people just have this vendetta. There's like a vendetta against you, or is it because of your actions? Jealousy. All <laughs> 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 right, there's a reason. <laughs> you what pay the card off. Why does everyone hate me? Fucking one. Think about that one for a second. <laughs> What well, can't help the jealous man? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. But that's me playing up to it. No, no, no. That's it's like a defence mechanism. Yeah, it's like where I'm just, oh, re- relentlessly insecure about myself. <laughs> I, just, I just portray this like, whole entire persona of like, oh, yeah, I'm really confident. If we're fucking realistic, like. You just cry. Are you upset about it? I do, no, yeah, I have you big do. mood swings. Like yeah. Within this podcast, I could go from laughing like um, and then just be sad in about 10 minutes' time. Mm-hmm. Well, keep them a minute. Ago, <laughs> Anyways, we're only 20 Wait, minutes in. You never, you never actually in. said why the lights were on, did you? Oh, you talked well, about all this. Oh, I know, it's just because Theo was getting all his attention, so I wanted to lighten him up more, even more. You were getting so, called but have we got, have we got the actual comment Wait, hang on a sec. that Wait, made Luke, you, Luke. that really flipped no, no, the switch? No, 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 Luke, the lights aren't the fat thing. The, fat thing. the lights are for the, the thumbnails. It's the camera angle. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we want to start. I don't think it's actually going to change it, you know. What, that? It's still a wide angle. Oh, it's still a wide angle. So I'm still going to We're always going to look a bit dodgy. But look, um, oh, mate, I didn't even, even favourite the email. But basically, there was an email about Theo. Basically, it was an email <laughs> saying that you. No. Oh, they, they will. <laughs> That <laughs> <laughs> they were like so fascinated about how the attract attractiveness on waffling varies. So it's like, oh, at the beginning, Joe was just <laughs> the good looking one. Now he's the least good looking, <laughs> and now Theo's the best looking. And it's just like, wow. And then that, it was at that point that I was like, no, fuck this. I think actually was, said I what was. About Jake over there? It said you were in the middle. You had moved up, but it said you were next to be the best. Yeah, because now I'm the clapped one. I'm in line for the crown. Well, I think it's personality that makes people look more attractive than they true, actually are. True, true. Whereas you're, so you're, con- you have more big dick energy, massive dick, very energy. confident, massive, yeah, giant. No, no, no. But I think that is honestly what contributes to it. Whereas, like in recent episodes, I've been very whiny, very bitchy, <laughs> bit moist. <laughs> so, it's just, so it's just like it's easy to just be like, "Ugh, get away from me." Do you know what I mean? Well, look, boys, I want to bring it back a bit oh, cool. to the to the DM thing. Oh, okay, Senator um, DM. Well, we were talking about like people sliding into maybe a girl's DMs. Yeah. Um, but being yeah. famous individuals, mm. you obviously get a lot more. You, I mean, I know that you've had many provocative images sent to you via DM. But how does Susie? <laughs> Come on. What do you get? Like edited fuck cards. <laughs> My or DMs something? are either FIFA or just mugging me off. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> The amount of abuse I got after I posted that plain English muffin on my story. What, mate? We all looked at that and we're like, what is wrong with this guy? Well, I saw Nick Bear it's eat like a the plain muffin. So I was like, oh, I'll get my carbs in after a swim. I just got abused. Well, it just looks so wrong. <laughs> yeah, why? Like, butter it. Or toast it, butter it. No, I can't have fat. Right. Anyways, right, go on, carry on. So, <laughs> would they ever, like, would they ever know about that? Would they ever react? But also, I want to know, have you ever no, about what, sorry? Like, these... Pictures oh, the nudes intense. that you'd get from random fans. And it's like, like some pretty like intense messages yeah. that you get from fans. Yeah. But also, have you ever had anyone actually famous slide in? Oh, yeah. Uh, go on your Instagram DMs and you know you can sort from top to no, bottom. No, but they expire after like three days. No, they don't. Nah. No, I found out it's like... 49 weeks ago. I'm like, shit. I like, mean, no, not... I remember not, one. Not really. What, one from me? Yeah, when we were in... LA. Someone did. Oh, I bet I can guess who it what? is. What? What? Well, Someone. Sleeping. Who? Who? We can bleep the name if not. Um, was it Jem Wolfie? Oh yeah, Jem Wolfie. We, we don't is need a, to bleep that. Do no, we? no, we don't. Who's okay, that? yeah, that's a, fe- a famous. Show it. Can we show um, it? Model. We'll get her up. Just like Tom, show a photo now. But it was just, I didn't. I didn't say anything. You did have a girlfriend at the time. Oh yeah, but yeah, because I was. But he didn't like, reply. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. That was that was in uh, KSI Logan fight, so 2019. Large. And yeah, I was just like, it wasn't a bit of me. It was, just, it was not my. I don't know. It wasn't. Does that intimidate you, like a like a celebrity sliding into the? DM? Well, I have the love of my life now, so I don't need to worry yeah, about. It. No, no, I know were, that bit. Okay, let's pretend you were single and just like obviously like three months ago. <laughs> yeah. Who dare? Wait, um, uh, wait. Let me just quickly see if that needs changing. One sec. Have you got anyone in the old? What in terms of famous? In terms of famous sliders in uh, Holly H. Who's that? Who oh. Holly H. Let's see. Uh, just got one point four mil followers. 
Is, wait, wait, wait. Does he? Is it air? What is that? Is that, is that who is that? Who is it? She slid in your DMs. Mm. I'll tell you who that is after the podcast. I can't say who it is on the podcast. You can't say it. It's, um... What? It's you can bleep it. You can bleep it. <laughs> That's what? That is... No one said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me, you got to bleep that. You got. You, we got to bleep me saying that bit after as well? Yeah. Really? I don't, I don't know if people... I don't know. What? What? Is it not a known thing that they're related? I don't think so. Oh. Maybe it is. Who knows? Oh, fair enough. Well, yeah, they... slid in your DMs. Um, Did you reply? No, I didn't even know until now. I didn't, didn't really check this thing. Uh, no, but yeah, basically, that's sort of it, really. Yeah. At the end of the day, look, I, whatever follow... I, I think that's the thing. Like I've realised more than anything, Like no matter what someone is, irrelevant, irrelevant, which is why when that time that someone was like, oh, I'm intimidated by the fact you have followers, so I wouldn't... I couldn't... I don't know. I don't want to be seen in public with you in case people people think I'm a, I'm a fan. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's just, what feel, the fuck? I feel like that's a bit of a, a disrespect to you as a person. Oh, do you see what I mean? In general, whether you're the janitor, whether you're like the CEO, no matter, just like the equal in terms of just yeah. like opportunity chance and just like you're a human in the, the yeah. day, like <clears throat> cavemen and whatnot. Um, now, something else uh, that, I mean, I really want to talk about, really oh, relevant to this. Well, it's not relevant at all, but Zac Efron got a... Uh, oh, weird. Zac Efron's been injecting himself with, like, what is it? Filler? Botox? I was like, mate, you are one of the fittest blokes on the planet. Why are you making yourself look square? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you... Like, it's like, ugh. <laughs> He's like, why would he do it? Why? He's... But but it's, break down. But that goes to show, like, so even like, obviously, Geezer's meant to be like confident, proud, and all that. He's like, like you say, on on paper, probably one of the most attractive males on the planet. Yet still, he's felt the need to change himself. I'm thinking, I'm like, it's like maybe it's for a movie. You know, maybe he's doing it for a, a, no, a role. No, no, <laughs> what, like no. SpongeBob in person. No, I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, it's, it, this is so bizarre because if you're Zac Efron, you yeah. will get told every single day you're Peng. You are Peng. Yeah, but well, in, but somewhere inside himself, he's like. Maybe, I don't think I am. Like, I was, there's got to be a, a form of insecurity within Zac yeah, Efron. Is this the the sort of same Hollywood pressure that girls feel? Of course it is. Surely. Is he just feeling it? Is he 100%. thinking like, because how old is he now? I know he's not old, 30, he's still he's like 30? a solid 10 out of 10, let's be real. Yeah. But is he maybe That's seeing something in himself and he's thinking, shit, like what if I don't get cast maybe as he's the good looking yeah, guy anymore? Maybe he's getting his audience just telling him how fat he is now or some shit. Well, just no. really affecting him and just really like ruining his whole like life. Like, but it's true. Like, <laughs> 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 Everything all right? <laughs> no, but it's true. Like it is mental how, how <laughs> oh, I can really relate to that. <laughs> you know, good looking bloke from two different sides of the world. <laughs> <laughs> We're just on similar levels, buddy. But it's true. But it, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I think everyone should be to themselves. Now, guys, we have another sponsorship message from our best friends at ExpressVPN. Now, these guys, right, the service they provide is the number one rated in the whole world. And it basically solves that situation. Of, have you ever wanted to access a video or a website where it says, sorry, this is unavailable in your location? Mate, do you know what I have that with all the time? When I'm on Twitter mm -hmm. and I want to watch a goal that is scored in a football game. Oh, it's so always much. blocked in the UK. In it. Um, well, basically, what you can do with ExpressVPN is make it so that you appear from whatever country you want to. And they will do it completely safely. The number one safest VPN on the platform of the internet. So basically, here we have a lovely offer for you guys at home. And that is that if you go to expressvpn.com slash waffling, you get three extra free months. Okay, that's expressvpn.com slash waffling for three completely free months of this wonderful service. So get on, get involved, link in the description, on with the show. Speaking about how you can maybe maintain how you want to look your whole life, also I saw on your girlfriend's story, you doing some yoga. And I was wondering, is this <laughs> part of your thing? So Tom, roll the clip now. What did you screen record? Um, you were screen recording me doing yoga. For those of you watching, yeah, we're playing a video, uh, listening, sorry, we're playing a video of Theo doing yoga. 
And I was just wondering, like, does that does that actually help? Like, is I that a good it. thing? You love it. So good. Is that why you're looking younger and prettier and more I do, gorgeous? I do, I do hip specific yoga. Oh, we're like, we're still <laughs> yeah. what is yoga actually for? I've never understood I, it. I, I used to think People it was, look, I used to think it was such a con. Then I'm like, oh yeah, Ryan Giggs, Rhea Ferdinand. They, that's how they played till they were forty. Doing yoga. It's basically just stretching. But everyone says it's well hard. Like, is that true? Oh yeah, no, it can get real hard. Yeah, again. it's re- di- really difficult. But mate, honestly, start yoga. You won't regret it. All right, I'll look into it. Um, well, in other news, uh, this is where we are really scraping the barrel. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> I learned to, to speak to sheep. He's <laughs> gone fucking crazy. <laughs> no, no. So boys are out of content. Let me just fucking make something up. <laughs> I've, got, I've got video evidence. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to straight. You don't have to go. <laughs> no. Like, what? <laughs> He's a bear. <laughs> no, basically, we were walking. Me and Elliot went on a walk. High as a kite, it sounds like. Yeah, we it. may have had a bad <laughs> split there. No, we didn't. I really. can imagine it now. No. Oh, my God. Joe, you're speaking to a shit. No. No. Didn't go no that. Did, it, did he back you up here? Let me just play the video. Right, play it now, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Imagine if I showed this. <laughs> Imagine no, I've come in here. Talking talking guys. <laughs> Imagine I've come in here. No, you're not going to believe this. Please. And I show a video of me barring. Barring. You're not barring, Joel. Wait. Have you never done that before? Well, just go to the bro. Have you never done that? Well, I thought it was a standard procedure if you well, It's like a weekly thing, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I thought to do it that, that time, and the fact that they were responding, they understood what they I was saying. Every time. <laughs> How do they know what you're saying? Because you sound like them. They're like, mm-hmm. I don't, they don't, I don't, that noise? They're not communicating like we are. Just, no, but how do you know that that's not a deep intellectual <laughs> message that they're interpreting as, oh, this might be the my news stepmother? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Well, I just Mate, think... I used to do it every time I go on a run in the South Downs. What, on your own? Well, obviously I need, like... <laughs> <laughs> you run your once. You're just like... <laughs> it's like... What? <laughs> Someone talk to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, obviously when you're just like, in the field full of sheeps on a run, and you're just like... <laughs> like, is this acceptable? <laughs> when someone walks around the corner, and you do, <laughs> you do it on the slide, don't you? Like, bang, bang. You want to watch? Bang. Then you just really scurry as fast as you can past the, the cows. Cows are quite scary. Terrifying. So there I was, right? So me and my girlfriend, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> we went on a walk around the farm. <laughs> 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 But it's quality, right? But listen, so there we were, getting off. No, why are you always kissing in what? a farm? No, so we get off, but like this cow, but it was a bull. <laughs> it was a bull. <laughs> Man came up in between us, so I knocked him off. <laughs> I didn't punch it. No, I didn't punch it. It but came up in between no, you. Like, no, 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 he just put his fucking head in between us. Start humping me and everything. <laughs> no, no, but like, it was scary. All right. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> we're, we're actually, we, Lads, I got one for you. Go on, buddy. Go on, buddy. The Telegraph broke the news a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> that from June 21st. <laughs> <laughs> Hugging will be. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so, so I've been waiting for this. Wait, so is there a single soul on the planet that's actually got no, no hugging? Actually, Mate, I, I went to a, 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 I went to somewhere and there was a sign that said no handshakes and no hugging. What? Like they were going to throw people out? Uh, yeah. Do you know what's meant? Or like at this shoot this week I was at. Um, <coughs> <laughs> sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> I'm blood all over me. Sorry, um, I, I am. Um, yeah, at the end of the, <laughs> at the end of the shoot. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Wait, at the end of the shoot, I am um, went way. Just, <laughs> just went to hug one of the workers, and she just went ah, and actually like 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 did that and avoided me. 
And I was like, <laughs> how, like surely not. I don't think that was COVID, mate. Because <laughs> <laughs> you fucking smashed it. <laughs> wait, wait, this is a... Do I stink? Oh, yeah. We were speaking downstairs. Do he didn't shower for four <laughs> days last week. And you went to the shoot. No, you went to the shoot in between. No, well, that's bollocks. That's no, bollocks. that is true. Really, it's definitely well, not I did, bollocks. I didn't go to a fucking shoot without showering, did I? We shout. When was the shoot? No, listen. What it was is it was a series of, you know. Um, you went on a four day. He, he showered on no, Monday and then didn't shower until <laughs> Thursday evening. Like, There's a fucking reason for it. I have an answer for that. Is this exactly. <laughs> <laughs> No, there was a reason for it. I just can't. I, oh, fuck it. You've done worse. No, I haven't. <laughs> Four days is to... <laughs> fuck off, buddy. <laughs> Judge, please off. take over the show for us. <laughs> Four days is disgusting. Well, look, right. <laughs> You've, you, you <laughs> don't mind. You're the rank you, one no, now. No, no, no. You don't mind at all. When you're in bed... <laughs> Where are you going with it? And underneath the bed, you can tell that you smell bad. Does your girlfriend say anything? Are you on about you? No, you. If, if my balls stink, she'll be like, fucking hell, your balls stink. Oh, wait, what? Why do your balls stink so bad that she can just smell them? Or after exercise? Well, there's many, there's the time. many times that my balls will smell during the what, day. And you'll just be laying next to each other and she'll be like, I can smell your balls from well, here. What happens if we, we, I just haven't showered and one thing led to another? You, you, you had sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if, she, if, she's, if she's... Do you? Is do she, you know? I do. Have you started? <laughs> you when was it? When was the last time? It's not funny. <laughs> when was, when was, <laughs> how was it? <laughs> really good, actually. <laughs> mm. Jealous. <laughs> Jealous. Um, so one thing I've actually got in my notes section. What? Is we were going to bring up, and I want to ask about some of your old brand deals you've done. Yeah. What was it like? People saying, "Oh, well, is selling yeah. out. He's finished." Oh, and we like, hate what him. the fuck is this video? Yeah, there, there is a it's, there is a particular one I think that we well, have. Well, if in we mind. don't name the brand, but just describe well, the video, hang on, oh, we might be thinking of two different videos. Well, uh, no, you, okay, you say one that you want first. That really oh. weird basketball one you did. Oh, I never watched That's it, but I heard about that. Wasn't it? it was a title like basketball versus girl. <laughs> <laughs> was it? It was making love through <laughs> making ball love or through basketball or something. Have you gone like? And I, I, th I think it's uh, privated now. But listen, um, basically the concept with with that, I think one of the rounds was we had to both be in the same clothes and complete like a basketball drill. Who <laughs> came up with these? And if you remember, <laughs> we did that in a video. That went well. And we broke your girlfriend's rib. <laughs> she got winded. Well, we <laughs> Yeah, we'll play the clip now, Tom. Play the clip but now. But she'd never been winded before, so she thought she'd broken her rib. Is that fair enough? Yeah, so all that was, well, I just applied it again. But you could argue, well, that's a bit weird, mate. <laughs> like, like, as in getting you and, uh, and, and, uh, and a female, or, or, you know, just in the same clothes, just like why? In, like you did in WWE moves. No, mate, that's <coughs> the thing. That You know my WWE moves on girls video? Originally, the day before, we were filming a different video where it was, um, we didn't twist up baby oil on it so that everyone, like, and then the other one was, oh, yeah, that where we're all in one pair of extra, extra large clothes trying to complete challenges. It's like, that's... Who was coming up with these video ideas? Oh, it was me every time. <laughs> no, but that's, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That was the Merrill twins, wasn't it? That was the Merrill twins, yeah. Well, they're doing well for themselves. They are. But what's the other brand deal video you're talking about? One that you did more recently. With Elliot. Yeah. The only that went down well. That was I've never had a video go down so badly. But why did but that's it go because, down so badly? Timing. I believe timing. it's just when all the waffling beef started. So people thought, one, timing. I've ditched you boys for Elliot. And not only that, but we've done the video in the seats of waffling. So it's like, how dare he sat seats, sits where they sat sort of thing. It was poor timing. It was yeah. poor timing. And then just, yeah, like, where obviously I haven't uploaded in ages. And I just like, I, obviously it, it was just a piss take, but people took it very, very literally like, oh, well as trying to be someone he's not again. I was like, mate, I was playing like a, like a weird game show host. Like, obviously I'm not, I don't know, I was just bringing a bit of energy, but it, was just, it just went all down Did, wrong. When you were, obviously you go back through these and edit them. Were you going through it thinking like, this is a decent video? No, I, think, like, I was thinking like, this isn't, this is clearly just one bit. Like, I've got a brand deal and I've just gone, right, I'm just going to take the piss. But everyone took it so literally, like very, very seriously. Like, that's it. I'm unsubbing from this cunt. As though I was an evil man. But really, you were just trying to pay rent. 
well, not your mortgage. Yeah, it was just a big brand deal. What, what, when a video... Game's a game. <laughs> now, girls, it is that time. What time is it, Lukey? That is correct. Manscaped o'clock. Guess what? They've sponsored this episode, and they are the reigning, defending, most used by you object that we have <laughs> advertised on this podcast. So many of you have got involved with Manscaped as a result of uh, us basically promoting them and agree that it is such a good contraption. Now, Luke, tell us how good it really is. Well, mate, I'm not going to lie. I've had a couple of disasters down there. We all have. I use like my normal beard trimmer once and it's like, it's like using a chainsaw on, yes! on them. What does it do? Well, it has an LED light. So you can see where you're going back to front and it has protectors. So you won't like nip yourself, cut your bollocks. We've all done that multiple times. It's technology is state of the art. You can't get better on the planet. And guess what? We've got a little offer for you. 20% off if you go to manscaped.com slash waffling and free shipping. So the link's in the description. It's manscaped.com slash waffling. 20% off, free shipping. There you go. Your balls will thank you. <laughs> on with the show. When you do like something for a brand, like be it on YouTube or Insta, mm. obviously on Instagram, naturally, these things always perform worse than a, a general oh, post. But does it, that video, which obviously got a terrible reaction, did the brand come out and say like, anything? Oh, mate, like, I wanted to... um. I wanted to contact the brand afterwards, but my management were like, <laughs> no, we'll take this one, buddy, because they didn't want, because obviously when you don't deliver, like when you do the, the exact worst. opposite of what they want, they're, fun, they're fronting, you know, a big sum of money. And then you literally, oh it's my God, it's just, it's obviously humiliating. So, yeah. so it's obviously a case of like, right, my management will probably thinking, look, don't worry about this because what are you what what is me then talking to them going to have going to what you know what what are we going to get at the end of the day there, yeah. it's what they signed up to if it it goes however it goes it's their job to do their researching because as well it's the first time Elliot was really like on the channel again in his in the viewers head maybe a lot of people were thinking snake 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 still and then you know the two only fans girls that may have just come across like their clout chasers yeah. I don't know. It's like whether it's just one big fuckery compared so, to where, where you've got waffling, where <laughs> people think, oh, this is authentic, genuine, all of that. It's, it you know, well, of course, but it, you know, that wasn't necessarily disgenuine. It was just me trying to come up with an idea. They gave me like two days to come up with an idea. So I just came up with, and it has to be based around, yeah, you yeah. know, when you get a brand, brand deal brief, you have to do it on specific pointers that they won't budge on. So, yeah. and sometimes to make it work is difficult. So... So just embarrassing when like it underperforms. <laughs> well, it is though, isn't it? Like, well, just, <laughs> like, you, like with the actual brand, that like, you can just tell they're at work. Like, yeah, but I've smashed brand deals before. The reason why I got that one so comfortably, <laughs> that Braun brand deal I've got, mate, best brand deal they've ever done, as in yeah. paid promotion, whether yeah. it be adverts, just that whatever. See it everywhere, mate. It, it it banged. It sold so many units for them. It's because I still to this day cut my own hair, and it's you know I just yeah, I think I did it quite well. It did all right, but. I think when you start only doing brand deals, it looks like, oh, uh, you're just do you only doing it for the money. And I can't like that's 100% what it came to you because I didn't want to do YouTube videos. Mm. But then when a brand is going, here is a solid however many figures to just basically run a video. I'm like, mate, I've, like, I'm not saying, oh, yeah, the audience has to pay to watch or anything like that. It's just like, but I'm, I'm going to take this money because in the industry all the time. I'm moving on to a new thing. But that is... Geordie, I'm not going to do it anymore, though, because it's, it's the Geordie just, Shore approach. Do you know what I mean? Like Geordie every, Shore. Every post that the Geordie Shores do is just yeah. sponsored. Yeah, you've got so, to strike the balance, 100%. Yeah. You've got to strike the balance. And then when, yeah, like basically, I just got the balance a bit Do off. you not find, like, I always find this, like, every time I do, like, an Instagram story brand deal, for some reason, the views are just half. Well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's like, like people know that it's sponsored. Like if you, I think if you put hashtag ad, it must do something yeah. in the Instagram algorithm where it just doesn't hit so. it. Yeah. Which is just dead, it's, but it's like, like... Oh, I sent you my analytics and they're half of it. Yeah, 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 in it, in it. Whereas like yesterday on Instagram, like, did, I don't know, did yeah. any of you had that, that big jump where yeah. it was just like huge? Huge. Where, yeah. where did that... Oh, like, I've had it today. What, like, a big jump? Yeah, maybe you're smashing it. I, think so, I also think some days, you know, like certain people are always... At, front of your your instagram story yeah. Yeah. i think sometimes they just whack some people in front maybe maybe well let us know do you guys get this with your uh instagrams i don't know right what else can we talk on the, about well, on the on the topic of it well yeah, it's not on. really it's just a little adding point but like you talk about it being embarrassing mm. and like this it would 
it's the same for like any industry, I guess. You do something that under delivers. It would be like going to a restaurant and a chef making you a meal that tastes like shit. Yeah, and you'd be like, mate, this is poor. But, but at the end of the day as well, <coughs> YouTube in general is just underpaid, so fuck it. YouTube is underpaid. Oh, yeah, what, if, you oh, compare, if you compare it to TV in terms of uh, money paid to uh, interactions and viewerships, yeah. YouTube is just at the bottom. Oh, so we deliver more and get paid less, but still, yeah. we, we can't complain. Can we, I know we can't complain, but I think it's changing over time. But can because we talk? YouTube was a new platform. Talk about, about figures. Yeah, but but I'm not sure. <laughs> and How much did you get for that? <laughs> well, well, no, no, but there were, you went on a TV show. And I think on the TV show, you were the biggest online presence. Oh, like, what? The TV show that I was on last summer... You were you were by far like the besides oh, I think maybe Jack of, Finchin. No, but still in terms of actual interaction, so he yeah, has yeah. like two point one mil followers or one point five. I don't even know, but gets way no nowhere near the interaction I get compared to anyone else on that show. I you had like more than everyone up. put together. Yeah, I had on, on mate. We'd a, a, you know row get to <laughs> get to a point, and mate, there'd be like all the fucking waffling mafia turning up. And people wouldn't even know like other people that were on the show, oh. and I got paid the least. Yeah, that's what that's, that's what I'm saying. I got paid the least. Celebrity, all of them, it happens. But so I was putting in more. Whereas like people that were had been on uh, prime time shows that's before, prime, yeah, mainstream media, to go well, it? we're we're household names on prime time TV, therefore blah blah blah. Whereas this, I'm sort of like a virgin to prime time TV. Two, these two different worlds like colliding, and like, us YouTubers yeah. are, are seen as like a like a ooh, they're risky. Don't throw all our budget on them. It's they because might you're fuck not up. Because yeah. you're not like a bad tweet. real as such, are you? Do you know what I mean? Like these are people that have maybe worked well, yeah. on the industry, I whereas think, you're someone yeah. that has come up alongside it in a different industry and then have been able to. Like, I think as well, we, we live in a bubble where we sort of underestimate the likes of, say, like uh, Denise Lewis. Mm. Like she's a heptathlete, like multi Olympian. Olympian, like, yeah. We underestimate how big some of these people are. Yeah, and. Yeah, I think Don't because know that's honest. like we just un- we underestimate because, because, we, the because we're young, it's easy for yeah. say us to be like, let's say if I don't know, like Mini Minter went on it, for example, we'd be like, oh, he's like obviously the biggest name in that show, but that's because but to the rest d- of the nation, the yeah. uh, uh, different years, they may be like, who's this guy? Yeah. Well, yeah. it, just, it shows that with the voting, like all these voting stuff. Well, on Twitter, yeah, you think, oh, yeah, 100% like, like yeah. Labour are going to yeah. win. And then yeah. Wait, Twitter not... is nothing compared to the yeah. world. Like, but also, this is what I, was, I, was, I wanted to bring up earlier. Do you think Twitter has given a sort of platform for no one to have an opinion, really? Like you almost have to agree to all these things that are constantly like being bombarded upon you. Do you know what I mean? Like you see everything on Twitter and... More or less, the whole time, everyone is agreeing. It's like you see tweets with like twenty thousand retweets, and like that's quite a lot. And you you never seem to see people like disagreeing. And if someone well, does see, disagree, it's, it's almost like well, you definitely see like I mean, there's tweets I go on, and you can't help but every single response is just someone arguing with someone else. Well, that- However, <laughs> yeah, there is a uh, uh, yeah, there is a thing where it's like on Twitter, there are certain values that every, that people yeah, on Twitter yeah. are meant to have. Yeah, I think that's a better like, way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like a uh, you, culture. You both need to watch a documentary called The Dissident. It's all about the Saudi Arabian journalist. Mental. What Absolutely. happened to him? He got murdered. Oh, in, Inside what? a Turkish government building in Turkey. Why? Yeah. Why you did he get that? murdered? Wait, this, you have to watch this series. You will, you're going to get fascinated. But basically, I bring it up because all these Saudi journalists that were speaking out against the government were getting attacked from Twitter by all these, like... Um, Saudi, na- like, people? People from Saudi Arabia? Saudi they nationals. Just, yeah, but they yeah. weren't actually real people. The government had hired, like, <laughs> thousands of these people to sit in, like, a lab and just tweet abuse at these guys. So every time they would tweet, they'd just get hundreds and thousands of these messages abusing them. And they think, oh, why does the whole country hate me? But they don't. The whole country supported them. And it was just these people that were being paid to Yeah, and I think... Them. Yeah, sorry. That's but like the tiny def- little bubble that yeah, you're we, in. You don't realize it's so yeah, disproportionate maybe that's for real life. All the hate is that I've got in my whole career. Well, <laughs> wait, yeah, but you, you joke, ab- people. joke about it, but like in real life, you don't get much hate. You yeah. get the occasional and bottle thrown at you, but like, no, I don't. And let's be what? real, oh, like, to us. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're getting tweeted hate, but then you're releasing an episode of Waffling, and we're yeah. still getting like two hundred thousand views and. People are liking the video, commenting good mm-hmm. things. 
like it, it, it's breaking outside of that bubble of I do think Twitter is a really toxic platform in particular. Yeah, yeah I don't really use it anymore. Well, so many people have deleted the app. Oh, should we do it, boys? Should we just delete it? Nah, I need it for the income. The income? You get Twitter brand does. Oh, really? Most of mine are on Instagram. I'm actually quite enjoying Twitter recently. I've sort of, sort of begun oh, to you, like. You do banging tweets now, though, don't you? Yeah, I'm quite. I'm, quite, I'm learning the algo. Yeah, I'm also quite algo. enjoying the. I love riling up the football Twitter. Now I've started to like. You used yeah, to, be be yeah, oh, you used to be terrified. They used to be really they, they really, yeah, they really sort of. That's what would you say? Like, you almost have to go through unideal moments and difficult struggles in order to be able to uh, go through them. It's the almost get out of your comfort zone in order to, yeah. be, you know, thrive there. I learned, <laughs> so, I learned so much from the Carrius Mignolet mistake. Well, when you that, said the wrong goalkeeper's name. And I just... Yeah, but that, that endless that, abuse. That did actually affect you, like, quite a lot, didn't it? In real life as well, actually. Mm. Out in Spain. Ooh, we better leave this bar. They're looking at me funny. I had to get, like, sheltered away. We had to walk from one place to another. It was like a 100-metre walk. I did people coming up to me. 100 us, people? No, oh. 100 metre walk. And I had people come up to me like, give us a ticket, Theo. Go on. Go get me a ticket. Oh, you're out supportive. I'm like, I'm just oh on my... YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm Shit. sorry. Yes, yeah, so hopefully I'll get invited next year. Yeah, hopefully not. Didn't uh, Rochelle do quite a good tweet uh, when uh, when all that happened? He was like, oh, all these people like <laughs> yeah. so angry at um, like YouTubers getting free tickets to the Champions League final. He's like, why don't you just like get famous and rich and then they'll pay for you to go or something like well, that. Yeah. He jokes about it, but it just is true. Well, it's true. Like, you've had to be in the position where like there are companies going, we want you to go there so because you are going to benefit us as a company. But it does go to that thing as well of like, right, the football being for the fans, not for the rich and wealthy. Wait, did you see the percentages? It's like, you, you know what I mean? It was like an 80,000 seat stadium, 16,000 tickets for the fans. That's fucking See, ridiculous. that's where I understand. Yeah, like, that's that, ridiculous. That's actually fucked. Yeah. Like, wh wh where are the other tickets? Yeah. You don't have fucking 60,000 CEOs. And like also, at the end of the day, right, the, the argument could be, well, you could say no, but all they're going to do is you're going to say no and they'll just give it to someone else. That's the thing. Because you'll say off. no, he'll say yeah, for example. That's the thing yeah. that pissed me off is that my ticket that I was taken, is, it, it, it can't go as a regular ticket. It's like a, it's a, what do you call it, ticket? A hospitality ticket. They can't. Yeah, it was never have, for a fan. All these brands get a certain amount of tickets they can give to people that work for the brand, influencers, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, if I say no, it's just, well, who's going to say, like, exactly, are you going to say no if you're in my position? Mate, I'm a football fan. <laughs> that's where, mate, watching for, football. for the Champions League final, right? It's meant to be in Istanbul, right? So why, if it's City and Chelsea in the final, English, right? But if they say, well, in England, you could have fans at the stadium, but in Istanbul, no fans. What are they going to do then? Because Istanbul, you bid for it, right? So if they bid to have the final there, oh, shit, but if it's saying. about the fans, surely they should just have wherever they can have fans on this occasion, which might be England, because then there's left travelling aboard. No, you know what I mean? I'm about to work in Monaco this weekend for Formula E. That's so sick. Mate, that is sick. Involved. But, mate, the amount of forms I'm having to go through and, and uh, yeah, you know, all of this in order to be able to... Flying there. We're flying there. But in order to do that, mate, it's so over the top. And if you have to have loads of fans... And I'm getting talked through it by my management who like, because it's very technical. Yeah. If you get like the average person, they're not going to know what all this shit means. It's Mate, very complicated. France in particular is very difficult to get into right now. Ooh. Or nearby impossible. France is on complete lockdown. Yeah. I'm flying there. Wait, and they're still just letting people go in? Well, it's work. Yeah, it's weird though, isn't it? Like that whole... But this Champions League final shit, like... Do you not... Wait, this is actually one. Do you not find... Like, when... Champions League final. If it's like <laughs> City-Chelsea in the final... I know we're all well and good. Like an English team will be good to win, but it just doesn't seem like a Champions League final. No, I know you. Like, give me like a, a big European side against an English Liverpool side. Liverpool Spurs can... was awful. Yeah, and it I'm needs to be fan. like Real Madrid against. But it sounds a bit pathetic. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, They're the if, Knights you think of. Like, yeah, if it's yeah. Chelsea Real, Chelsea to win. No, but Chelsea Every... Real is the semi, so it won't be that in the final. Okay, well in the semis, I'm supporting Chelsea then. Basically, it needs to be PSG against Chelsea. That will be massive. Yeah. That will be massive. You know the yeah. annoying thing, though? City what, are going to win the Champions League. If they're going to win the Champions League, they have to do it this year. Well, they're going to have to beat Chelsea, so... Oh, you, know. you know what I went on? So this uh, shoot I did in the week was for MasterCard, and I had to debate as a Chelsea fan how I, like I believe, right, that Chelsea will win the Champions League, and we were com like doing it against an Opta, you know, Opta, mm -hmm. who do all the stats in football. Yeah. You had to convince him... 
why you think your your team would win, and I won the debate. It was me, a City fan, a PSG fan, and a Real Madrid fan. How the fuck did you win and that? And everyone's like, well, of the plastic, well, <laughs> what can I say? Did you, were you like hitting hard Chelsea fans? Well, I did, so I did a little bit of research on things like, obviously, our clean sheet record at home, obviously, Tuchel's record against obviously. Sudan, you know, this, that, and the other. But like, yeah, just like, mate, fucking bang it Opta didn't like be like, did they predict who's going to win using stats at all? So, no, I mean, the guy afterwards, he was also just like, yeah, I thought Chelsea would win as well. Oh, but, really? Yeah, man, he, uh, he actually thinks Chelsea have the best best chance statistically to win. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's pretty, a bit mad. Why, though? Well, it was basically, I mean, oh, him with the when you look at, like, it's, it's based on history with the teams playing against each other and locations and whatnot, which, like, these are new players, so yeah. not always... Uh, accurate, but like um, basically, it was more of like the momentum, the fact that like we've got eight clean sheets out of our last nine at home. Real Madrid have literally only got Benzema, who seems to be scoring their the goals, take him yeah. out their game, and whatever. Obviously, we've seen City bottle it, bottle it. We've seen <laughs> PSG bottle it and crumble against City. Obviously, City in the first half against PSG were a bit dodgy. Yeah, so rocky. it's sort of like Chelsea. Everything sort of a bit more. We've got multiple goal scorers. Like anyone on the pitch can score. Really wise. Too well. cool. I'm beating yeah. against Zidane. That's a good one. It's gonna be quite funny. We beat City a minute ago in the, the yeah. FA Cup. So it's like we, you know what I mean? Like we've got momentum on all this these teams. This is being recorded literally like two hours before the game. Oh, so man, imagine Real Madrid beat Chelsea. Oh. Like, Wait, isn't it PSG City tonight? Mm-hmm. Right, day before Chelsea. Yeah. Not Real a football fan, are you? Yeah, I'm fake. You like football though. I do like football. It's great. Boys, on Can't the big the, the big football debate at the moment currently that I'm seeing on Twitter is obviously Euro related. Yeah. And is it is it you can take three? No, you can take twenty six now. Oh, like you can take more than three people to the Euros. I know that. Twenty six, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, Mason Mount, Jack Grealish, Phil Foden. I don't know who the other one was. Addison. Yeah, but if it's Madison, then it's easy. You just take those three, like the first three that I said. Yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But uh, wait, you realistically, when when is it going to get announced what the England team is? I don't even know. And are we, are you we must all going to be able to go? Are you going to be able to sort us out tickets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, surely. Come on, Theo, sort us out tickets, Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy. Play this clip, by the way. Right, <laughs> so it's a time that Theo got recognised as Jamie Vardy. Roll it. Here it is. The ice sighted camera latte. Incredible. Jamie Vardy, right? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Cheers. Man. Cheers. Did he really just think I'm Jamie Vardy? He just started recording me. He did start recording he me. He just Jamie. honestly thought I was Jamie Vardy. He was cameraman. As he was. Luke was cameraman. Hey, that was so weird. We were just filming, he just started recording me out of nowhere. Thinking you were James Vardy. It was quite weird. And then I was like, we were a bit like, was he taking the... No, like, get, get up, Jamie Vardy. Does Theo look like Jamie Vardy? No. Oh, <laughs> Dad, literally, how has he got there? Nothing. I was wearing a full England tracksuit being filmed. Maybe that was it. And he obviously didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. So he's like, oh, Jamie Vardy, I've heard of that guy. And you were like, I need to get uh, Jamie Vardy to react to that TikTok. I got a way in. I, got, I know how to do it. I need to, I, I'm going to get, get, I'll get it done for next week. Okay. You'll get it done for next week. You'll get what? Jamie Vardy to react. That's my task for this week. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be class. And shout out Waffling. Yeah, obviously. And shout out Waffling. That is the big one. Game is the game, boys. It is entirely the game. Right, we've got five more minutes to go, boys. What right, so doing? the... Well, we've got two things. We can, we can either m- mention the Premier League Hall of Fame. Something unfootball football related. Uh, I don't know if we've talked about it. We probably have, but fuck it. I'll say it anyway. Yeah. Um, investing into YouTube channels. Investing? Yeah, yes. I like this. What do you idea. mean? Wait, what do you mean? What is it like? We pay I money will, into. I will pay you ten thousand pound for five percent of your YouTube channel. So you know, you, you know, you invest in stocks. Yeah. In crypto. Yeah. I invest into JW. Think of someone like Nico or Milana, right? Yeah. I know he's always the example, but he's a, he's a prime example of like a top tier YouTuber yeah. that reinvests all his money. Now imagine him trying to start out. I know he's got there, but it must have been hard to pull mm. off such Mate. videos. If you're getting someone that's investing, imagine if someone's like, right, I'll give you 50 grand. Like, I see the potential in this. We'll, we'll give you 50 grand. We want 25%. Think of the money, like, what that could do for the channel. Mate, imagine investing, like, I'll invest 50K into Morgz's channel six years ago. Yeah. 50%. No, no, no. 10%. Which really, like... 
you take a smaller YouTuber, if you went, I'll give you 10 grand for 10% yeah. of your channel, and over time they accumulate, what, a million pounds from that channel. I mean, imagine investing into KSI 10 years ago. Well, yeah. So like, the, I, I think Mr. Beast is making some, some kind of platform. Is he thing. doing that? I think so, yeah, he wants to do it. Crypto YouTube. Yeah, it'd be interesting because you'd, I feel like it's slightly safer than markets because it's actually human. Well, then yeah. you can actually like observe. But then, well, but is it? But then, no, because then couldn't you be like markets? Actually, no, I guess markets have structure, right? And there is there's so many things that you can base on a like a price prediction. Whereas, like, what you have to rely on on a YouTube channel is not only someone's work ethic, but also their likability yeah. to the wider audience. And there's so many people that like work so hard and grind and upload every day and just. Get fuck off. Yeah, like, it. surely you must watch YouTubers that so you're like, how have you not got loads of subs? No, I am joking. You do have a million subs now, don't you? <laughs> no, you, no, you, no, that's not me even being a dick. You do, don't you? don't. 916. But I got 215k on the second channel, so if you add them up to That is good. Oi, can you not subscribe to Waffling? Because obviously we're trying to get a mill. Have you noticed? And we've actually, we're, we're, we're complete, <laughs> between last week and now, we've actually lost subscribers. Because we're, so we're on a minus trajectory. The last episode. The last episode got the loads. The monetization of... doesn't affect views, though. It does loads, Hard. which is horrible. But anyways, yeah. we are actually going to have to leave now because we've got football. And Theo's going in golf Absolutely not. So, um, what? I've just had my second COVID oh, vaccine. Shut your mouth. Oh, shut your mouth. It doesn't even goal. hurt. You're going in goal. You're going in goal. You're going in goal, mate. I got full I'm serious. Vaccinated. I don't do my charge. Anyways, we hope you have a good Slide life. On that. We hope you're having a good life. <laughs> See you next week. Waffling boys. Out.